trying to focus yeah. it's on this tournament, man. I'm I'm stoked. Uh, yeah. because it's I'm playing the world's best today or some of the world's best today, um, here in Dallas or going to Dallas um Plano. You no, know, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, they were gonna come to uh Arkansas for King of Springs as a big tournament high spring Saturday. And I guess they had a situation as far as travel, um, traveling expenses so they could make it this way. So, and not getting a chance to play them this Saturday, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to them. <laughs> like, I, I have the, the chance to do it, so I'm going to take it this time. to Mississippi uh, to a tournament. Um, about four hours away from uh, Camden, about four forty three hours away. It's I, I don't know too much about it honestly. Uh, going down here to compete, I want to play somebody different uh, than what I'm normally used to. Uh, I went to Louisiana, competed down there. You know, I play Arkansas often, obviously, because I'm from Arkansas. So I want to see what this scene is about, see if I can, uh, see what I can learn here, um, all that stuff. So see how, how good their players are in Mississippi. And I don't know nothing about their players. I'm going there a lot. I can either do really good or really, really bad. Hey, my name is Damian Wilson. Uh, go by Tag and Sugar. Um, I can saw Smash here. Been for a while. Uh, at least I started in 2006, went to 2008, and I took a long break at the fall. I, you know, I hated it. Came back in 2014 and did compete since. Uh, Running around Arkansas, starting off in Arkansas. Started in Arkansas, tournament in Texarkana. Uh, a T-Town throwdown where I got introduced to, or at least I've been playing Project M. I started Project M in 2014. Late July. I start going out of state, start going to turn this out of state. And the Smash scene is actually not as bad as it would be if you were competing somewhere else in another fighting game, strategy, whatever you want to compete gaming wise. Yeah, actually, Smash scene is probably the most friendly out of all the things I've ever been in. And overall, Smash is the, the most friendly of all of them. They'll, they'll break you in. They'll explain stuff to you without a hesitation, you know, 99% of the time. So, you know, I really, really appreciate them for that. I mean, Smash is like just as bad. Like, seriously, I've never seen that in any other community. It's like, fighting game. And you're introduced to newer things and uh, different things. You have to think different ways. And it's a little same with Smash. I mean, you play different people, somebody's not going to use Falcon the same way that... I use Falcon, or somebody's not gonna have the same concept or idea with a character that I might have. I mean, I guess that's one of the things about Smash I really enjoy. Well, see, Project M is a modification of Brawl. It, it is a idea that the community came up with to resemble the idea that was behind Smash Brothers Melee. Um, Melee was a GameCube game, uh, Smash Brothers, the second in the series, that implemented ideas that's never been seen in a fighting game before. But what makes it so unique is the fact that it was all found out by mistake. I mean, when Sakurai created the game, his original idea was not to have this game competitive, but to be fun. But a group of people who had the love for the game ended up finding out all these ideas with the game and created an art form, I would say an art form actually, behind this idea of fighting. Uh, combos on the move, attacking on the fly, reacting to what your opponent is doing. Project M got that idea and took it a, no a step further, which ended up creating balance, uh, additional characters, and new techniques from that idea that Melee had. This came from Grand Finals, 
Um, ended up taking it 1-3-0. Um, I guess this will be my 11th tournament I won this year, uh, which is you know pretty cool. Like one thing I guess I'm happy about is the fact that even though I am a firefighter or doing firefighting, that I'm actually able to travel. Um, I know I guess it's my love for the game, try to balance it out. Um, one thing you know with the Smash community is always awesome. I mean they they're always supportive. I mean everywhere you go, you're usually gonna have somebody there that's just you know gonna have your back or gonna you know. I guess it'd be nice to be friendly to you, talk to you, you know, and all that. So that's one thing I really enjoy. You know, a different atmosphere than from what you see every day. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess I, I still plan on traveling, uh, keep trying to get experience, keep getting better, playing different people. Um, and so this isn't my final tournament, <laughs> not by a long shot anyways. I still have some big majors to go to, so. But uh, yeah, you know, want some more money, uh, got a little bit more glory. People down here in Mississippi know my name. You know, that's the idea. Uh, they started buying you more, more smashers, you know, see you compete, you start talking more. I mean, that was good. So. Not getting a chance to play them this Saturday, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to them. <laughs> like, I, I have the, the chance to do it, so I'm going to take it this time. Going to a weekly. Uh, they have these every Thursday uh, turnouts. About 30, I think about 30 people, 30 to 50 people every week, which is pretty good for Project M. Smash in general, really. I remember at a time it was just like, we were lucky to get like 12 people. But the way that the game has been getting much bigger, that a lot of more people are, are entering and wanting to compete. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to see how I fair against world's best, nation's best, see where I stand, see where Arkansas stands as a whole. I'm basically going to be an Arkansas representative here. <laughs> People want to see me in the nation for the first time. This tournament that's going on today is probably one of the biggest tournaments for me. Um, it's one of the milestones, I guess you could say, in my Smash career because it's what I've been doing has been building up to a point like this. Uh, you know, I started locally, playing people locally, and then you go, and then I started traveling to out of town to different areas where they had their best, and you know try to beat them and then you go you play the state's best and you know after you accomplish that feat you go out of the state to try some of their best and try to beat them and then you try your region who's the best in your region and once you beat them you go to the next step you go to national national level and this tournament will have national level players um, players that are known throughout the nation as the best with their character and the best in the nation with said character. Well, you see, there's uh, you know there's the power rankings. Well, the power rankings basically they have the top ten players of the nation, I mean, of, a, of a state, and uh, based off their tournament winnings, tournament placings, uh, who they beat in state and out of state, et cetera, et cetera. So you have all these nation best all co coagulate in this area and they play and all they do is just keep getting better and better and better. So they can keep that national rank. They're like we have a guy that goes there frequently and his, his tag is Launchables. <laughs> and so I still have that name. The tag is Launchables and he has the best or what's been seen as the best tune link probably in the whole world. And you know, I got I, I got a chance to message him, talk to him the other day. He said he will be there today. I'm serious.
that class left in me, so since all I see is a really old stack, the only really good person here is me. Uh, there's like good people in Texas like Dak Povey, Oracle, Cephal used to play, uh, Strong Bad, Overdown, Luck. Um, I don't actually know if any of those people are going to be here tonight inside of me, so I have no idea what they're going to to be. In terms of how stacked this is, it's not nearly as stacked as Dallas or Bob, as they are. That's Enough what? about Starburst. Let's burst into this match. Ask the Shotgun versus <laughs> FX DFW Lunchables. It's even better. Oh. Ask the Shogun, not the Shotgun. I'm just going to call him Shogun. So good right now. I'm looking too hard. Lunchable is about to lap him from a percent standpoint. Please down so thank you. You called it and it happened. Charles doing good things too, man. I love that down throw in the forward air. That Kobe looking so fresh. Oh, okay. Shogun. <laughs> Shogun, Shogun kind of at the mercy of all these bombs. Like that, that's, a, that's the primary problem, right? It's like you get these bombs out, they not only do damage, big damage, but they do um, the setups and the, for the combos of the game that comes with this character. That's ridiculous. So Shogun spacing around that getup attack, able to go ahead and reward that Ooh. and a ruthless forward smash as well. You know, we may have clowned at the beginning, no! but... God. Dig, yeah, that's the Zeroni, bro. Oh, that hurts. And Lunchables with the punish. Is he not gonna he's not gonna be able to take him off the top? There's a bit of a high ceiling on this stage.
Lunchables, it. please! Do it. Lunchables, please! He did it. He did it. That was a four stock. I found out until after the match, we did not take too late to a big stage. Uh, I learned that the hard way and stream that is not a good feeling, but at the same time, it's much noted knowledge that I need. So it's, no, I understand. Uh, I got it. So he out camped me for the second game or so. So I know that. I'm taking my own charge. But I'm still in it. I'm gonna see, I don't know who I'm playing with. If I do make it, then yeah, it's all, uh, it's all set for you. So we gotta see how this goes. Uh, the competition is pretty good. I might have to play Havoc Link again. I'm not sure. But now that I got the knowledge, it's like, okay. Like you, I'm learning as I go, I guess. And like I got, oh, it's so easy to get jitters. It's like, oh, you can't get jitters. But it happens. It happens. Match now, guys. So it's going to be Azer versus Shogun, and I don't know who Shogun is. Uh, he's a good player from Arkansas, and I was just playing him, and he's pretty good. All right. So does he? Know, who, do, who is his? He his plays true Mario man? and Samus, and okay. he looks slightly better at Mario, in my opinion. Uh, I saw me four stock as Mario. So anyway, match is starting. Uh, this is a real match, unlike the last friendly, which was just really intense. So um, we got a guest. And we got Azra, who's actually getting pretty good. I've never heard of Shogun, but apparently he's pretty good. I don't think we've actually ever seen two competent players play this particular matchup. It's pretty good. Cool. Acer is just playing really well. He wants it, but the uppercut will take it. Game one going pretty, pretty uh, solid to Acer. I'm commentating for people yell at me in front of people. So, let's see. what is Acer going to do to close this out? More boxes. <laughs> It'll be good. Uh, miss grabs. I think he kind of needs to play it a little patient. One more hit should kill, but uh, Samus is really good at kind of not getting hit with missiles and all that fun stuff. I was going to say, yeah, it looks like he was bringing it back. That'll do it. Wow. That will do it. I Azer forgot the bomb was there. Azer looking real good. Azer looking real good. 2 owing Shogun um, from out of state. That was Our really guest good. from Arkansas. Our guest from Arkansas. I tried and uh, at least, well... I'm not too happy with my performance, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I guess that's one of the things that I always try to get back to you, and some, and some, but what I guess makes it best is you take what you got, 
quality of life. Yeah. 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 So I'm gonna try to do that. Take it. You know what I learned today. Take it out. That's how I do. So you're you gonna come back? Uh, yeah. Actually, I am. I plan on coming back. Um, I don't know when. Um, you know, because back is like four hours away. But I mean, oh my it's, God. the competition. I'm the worst. What? 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 Like, I, I never. I never played this game. That was something new. <laughs> Well, you know, and I was like, I didn't even see the bones. I didn't even see the bones. I just tried to find out where to stay alive and all that other stuff. And it just, you know. Anyway, yeah. Okay. I'd say when I lose, I'm actually one of the better players on how I take my losses. Um, a lot of players ripping out controllers, making excuses, uh, you know, just really angry. And, you know, they, they, cause they, you know, they take the game very passionately. And so when something doesn't go their way, they don't usually know how to act. I would say I'm more one of the better people in that case. Cause you know, yeah, you're going to be upset that you lost. You're going to be down. You know, in my case, uh, when I did lose Infinity and Beyond, I was kind of down, not just for myself, but for the state. I really want to show what Arkansas Smash was becoming, but as a player, as long as I'm doing my best, I'm happy. Um, if my best is not able to perform like to that level, then I'm, I'm like, okay, well, I didn't get to do it. Let me find out what it is I need to do to do better. And so I have that mind mindset. So, you no, know, it's carried me well, uh, pretty far. So I think I take uh, losses pretty good. Um, you know, I've been gaming since I was three, three or four. I started off with Mario Brothers, uh, Nintendo. And I think I was three years old when I started, and uh, I couldn't even get past, uh, I just remember I could never beat 1-2, or World 1-2, where you were underground, and all the pipes, and the do 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 and all that. I could never beat that stage, but I just knew I enjoyed it, you know? I was just like, I'm going to beat this, I'm going to beat this, you know, I got challenged, so, um, I probably, you know, I'm a, I'm a gamer, um, so... If I do anything, I'll probably be playing Smash until I'm dead. Probably from the womb to the tomb, I'll be a gamer. So, I'll probably be spending Smash until I can't even pick up a controller anymore. You know, to the point my, you know, my hands are shaking so much I can't even perform any type of input. But, um, it'll probably never go. If probably am ever just... It came to the point where they were the hosting tournaments, I probably still wouldn't quit. Um, I made the mistake the first time of Melee and just dropped it completely because I thought the game was going to die. But the Smash scene just really brought it back. It just, you know, that type of idea just really opened up to me that you can only have two people playing the game and you can still enjoy it. So, even if Project M was only me and one other guy, I probably wouldn't put it down because it's, it's too fun. Um, I enjoy it too much. I love the feeling I get of um, on the fly combos. Uh, it's, it's like jazz, you know. Uh, the game itself is like jazz. And I love that feeling. You know, I love that feeling. I love that entertainment. I love that enjoyment. And so, if I just had one other person who would love to play this game with me to play that jazz and make that type of music, then I'm all for it. You know, um, I'll probably never put it down. And I think there's, you know, just because of that feeling, I think there's a lot of people out there being sad. So, yeah, it, it would never go. Ever. Smash till I die. Shine until they cry. <laughs>